dear uh, Hamadun, uh, dear commissioners, uh, I'm pleased also to welcome you to New York for this 10th meeting of the Broadband Commission for Digital Divide. We meet at a crucial time, on the eve of the 2015 deadline for the Millennium Development Goals, when states are shaping a new global agenda to follow. The Millennium Declaration sets forth a humanist vision of a more just and prosperous world where all people live in dignity. We have to move forward with the post-2015 agenda, and we believe that there should be a vision for a century ahead, a pledge to craft a different century with, without poverty, violence, and uh, equality. There has been remarkable progress since the year 2000, but it has been insufficient and uneven. Our tasks now are clear. We must focus where needs are greatest. We must shape uh, agenda while helping countries accelerate towards 2015, and we must adopt a new agenda to follow. This agenda should build on achievements and tackle new challenges. But to move forward, it should harness the power of cross-cutting multipliers. This is why broadband and new technologies and the message of the Broadband Commission are so important. Broadband offers unprecedented potential to open greater access to information and knowledge, which are themselves catalysts for empowerment and development. As we always say, we cannot just invest in technology. We must invest in an ecosystem. Technology by itself does not empower. Its use and content does. This is why supporting infrastructure must be accompanied by support to applications and services, with investment in relevant content in local languages, drawing also on indigenous and traditional knowledge. These are the messages the Broadband Commission is sending today. This starts with the State of Broadband 2014 report that we will launch this afternoon, which includes also a comprehensive chapter on education. The same message is made in the report of the Task Force on Sustainable Development and Post-2015, Means of Transformation, Harnessing Broadband for the Post-2015 Development Agenda, to which we all have contributed strongly. The draft report by the Working Group on Broadband and Gender explores the tremendous promise the broadband carries to empower girls and women, including through greater access to quality education. And I would like particularly to, to thank Helen. Helen Clark is chairing this commission. I know that you will present also the report of yesterday's deliberations. These reports build on past milestones, including the Working Group on Education and Multilingualism, led by UNESCO, and they reflect the collective experience and vision of the Broadband Commission to which I thank every commissioner. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we must harness every accelerator to reach the unreached, to eradicate extreme poverty, and to overcome bottlenecks to justice and development. I believe this same spirit guides the World Summit on the Information Society process. As you know, UNESCO organized the first YCIS Plus 10 review event in February 2013, and many of you were present there with the ITU, the UNDP, the UNCTAD, and uh, the multi-stakeholder partners. I want to congratulate ITU and Dr. Hamadon Touré for the successful YCIS Plus 10 review held this June, and I look forward to contributing to the final event in December 2015 in New York. Our work includes a focus on harnessing the power of mobile technologies to quality education. This is showcased every year during the UNESCO Mobile Learning Week, and it is explored in our recent report, Reading in the Mobile Era, on the effectiveness of mobile phones in promoting literacy in developing countries. Let me draw also your attention to UNESCO's work in internet-related issues where member states have tasked us to lead a study on four issues within our mandate, freedom of expression, privacy, access, and ethics. And we presented the framework of the study to the Internet Governance Forum earlier this month in Istanbul. And I would appeal here for your contribution to this process. So broadband and new technologies open new horizons for enhancing 
learning opportunities, for facilitating the exchange of information, for increasing access to diverse contents, to social inclusion, and I would say to social justice. But this requires action, and this is why we have gathered. In this spirit, I would like to thank each one of you commissioners for your commitment to the goal we share to shape a more inclusive, just, and sustainable global agenda for the benefit of all. Thank you.